it mean to you that Aggie took this on, that Aggie was someone who collected women from the beginning, that talked about women artists, that asked about women artists. She tells a story about, I won't name the gallery, going to a gallery, a, a, woman, a woman's, woman gallerist, and saying, how come you don't have any women artists? And she said, because the, their prices never go up. Yeah. So we'll sell, <laughs> right? We'll sell this guy for a thousand dollars in a uh, month. It's uh, worth two thousand, and the month after that, it's worth five thousand. And the women artists, their money, ne their work never increases. Yeah, it's hard to increase the value for people like uh, Aggie to go out and begin to consciously and and through her own consciousness raise consciousness in relationship to women artists is phenomenal and we need more people to do that obviously um, because it's you know value is so arbitrary to a certain extent it has to come out of love you actually have to love art and be wanting to be surrounded by it and you also have to be aware that you're not just buying things to flip and sell, which Aggie has never represented. You're, you're actually creating culture. And through creating culture, you begin to then designate the different people in who are cultural producers that show inequality across the board. And that's not just in terms of gender, that's also in terms of, of race and sexuality and orientation and all of that. So there has to be those champions who decide that their collections are gonna stand for that. And that is one of the reasons why I've always wanted to photograph Aggie, even though I don't know her well at all, but she's been a champion uh, for myself and many, many women artists especially. Her voice has been an incredibly important voice. So what does it mean to you that she collects your work? You know, I don't know if I really think about the meaning of people who collect me. Um, because I'm not one of those artists that necessarily follows what collections I'm in. I kind of know what I've been able to do, but I feel like if I spend a lot of time thinking about that, that it detracts from what I want to make. Um, but of course you want to be in important collections and you want your work to be in institutions and Aggie represents the best of that. Um, what did you know about her before you ever met her or met me and knew that I was part of her? I mean, what did you know about her before she was anywhere accessible to you? I mean, I knew that she was a patron of the arts, and I knew that she was a really important patron of the arts. But she's also very East Coast and I'm very West Coast. So there's a certain kind of removal by just the fact that she is you know, this incredible patron on the East Coast. And then, you know, knowing you since you were 18, basically, I also got to know your mom through you to a certain extent.